Top 40. AT40, the number one. Even with big hit singles, this next group still records in their own studio that shares space with an auto repair shop. Jonas Bergen from Mesa Bay says, In Sweden, we're thought of as peasants because we come from Gothenburg, which is a worker town and far away from the trendy music in crowds of Sweden, and that's okay with us. We don't plan on changing our attitude just because we've become successful. The song that made Ace of Bass International Stars is here at number 28. It's all that she wants. Casey's Top 40. That means we're up to the number one song in the USA on Casey's Top 40. And it's by a Swedish band that had some very tough competition the night of their onstage debut. Competition from none other than the Rolling Stones. It all happened back in 1990. After months of rehearsing and practicing, this new group finally figured it was time to take the big step and go out to perform live. They knew the music scene in their hometown of Gothenburg, Sweden, through and through. And so once they started looking for a place to play, they found a number of clubs that were happy to host the debut of a local band. But the only offers they got were to open for other acts. And they wanted to be the headliners. So they turned down one offer after another. Then one day a club owner gave them their chance. The Rolling Stones were coming to town for a big concert as part of their Steel Wheels World Tour. The club owner figured the night of the Stones show, his place would be empty. Since no one would be there anyway, why not let this new band be the headliner? Of course, the group jumped at the idea, and they quickly spread the word that they would play their first show. Well, to everyone's surprise, including the bands, in spite of the fact that the greatest rock and roll band in the world drew a huge crowd at the local stadium, the small club where the new group was playing was packed. And that new group got a small taste of things to come. These days, their music is reaching a much bigger audience. Because for the sixth week in a row, their latest single is the biggest hit in the land. The number one song in the USA on Casey's Top 40 is The Sign by Ace of Bass. I'm Shadow Stevens. What makes one group get together and go nowhere while another shoots right to the top? Like this group at number 17, surely the hottest group of the past year, Jonas Joker Berggren told us how Ace of Bass came to be. Me and my sister played for some years, many years, uh, actually eight years, and um, the same days that the Rolling Stones played in Gothenburg, uh, we were supposed to play in the center of Gothenburg, in another place. A lot of people were expected to come there and see our concert, and uh, with me, uh, me and Ulf have been working a bit together before, we have the same rehearsal room, and uh, we asked Ulf if he wanted to join us on the stage, and he really likes that, and uh, he did that because of uh, the other person in the band that didn't dare to go to the stage. So, uh, and Ulf really likes to be on the stage, so it was a good injection to us. Well, now we're up to the latest hit for Ace of Bass, a Swedish group whose members had dreams of becoming classical musicians until they were told they played like unskilled peasants. Three of the four members of this group grew up together in the industrial city of Gothenburg, Sweden. They came from a working-class family who wanted them to make something of themselves. And all three of them, Jenny, Joker, and Lynn, joined their high school orchestra. In that orchestra, they learned to play the classics, works by Bach, Beethoven, and Mozart. And as their skills grew, the three young musicians had dreams of becoming part of one of the great orchestras of Sweden. And one day, they got the chance. Jenny, Joker, and Lynn read about an open audition for the prestigious National Orchestra in Stockholm. And with great hope, they took the train there to give it their best shot. Along with hundreds of other would-be musicians, they went to audition. Each had to play a brief solo part from a symphony by Sibelius. And even though Jenny, Joker, and Lynn thought they did well, the maestro who was running the audition dismissed each of them, one after another, with an abrupt and rude wave of the arm. He told them to go back home and practice more because he said they played with all the skill and finesse of unskilled peasants. <laughs> Crushed by those words, the three teenagers took their train back to Gothenburg, but they didn't give up on music. They decided to take some of the lessons that they'd learned from classical music and apply them to the world of pop. And that decision 
proved a good one. Starting with their first top 40 hit in 1993, they have had five top 10s in a row. All That She Wants, The Sign, Don't Turn Around, Living in Danger, and the song that's at number 10 this week on Casey's Top 40. The hits from coast to coast. For Casey Kasem, I'm David Perry. Now we're up to the hit Cruel Summer by a Swedish foursome with a member who says he went through the cruelest summer's day imaginable just a year ago when a concert on a lawn sent him to the hospital. It was last summer when the band called Ace of Bass was on tour in Europe. One of the dates that was scheduled was an outdoor show in Denmark. Nothing wrong with that. They've played many outdoor shows in the past. But what the band didn't know was that instead of playing on a stage, they were going to be playing on a large lawn. Now that might have been fine, except that band member Jonas Berggren has a lot of allergies. And one of his biggest allergies is to certain grasses, one of which happened to be the biggest component of that particular lawn. He says he arrived at the show late and had to start performing almost immediately. He ran out onto the lawn to the cheers of the crowd and started playing his keyboards. He says the next thing he knew, everything went wrong. After a few whiffs of the grass, his body went into complete allergic shock. He says, I felt very hot and started to perspire, and then I couldn't breathe anymore. He says he stopped playing, looked around, and collapsed right where he stood. The next thing he knew, he was in a Danish hospital, hooked up to all sorts of machines that were helping him breathe. He also said it's the last outdoor concert he'll ever do without checking out the facilities first. This week, a fully recovered Jonas Berggren and his band Ace of Bass jump eight notches to number 29 in our survey. Counting 